Welcome to XM.com for today's daily market comment by Raf Boyajian. I'm Cristina Marujos. The US dollar plumbed fresh lows on Monday, slumping to the lowest in nearly two years against the basket of currencies, as investors shunned the world's number one reserve currency in favor of the traditional safety of gold. The US recovery appears to be stalling due to the disturbing surge in new coronavirus cases since June. However, there are early signs that the latest wave may be peaking. That may help stocks recoup some losses following the sharp sell-off late last week. But the set back is already hampering America's recovery efforts, and it's looking increasingly likely that other major economies will outperform the U.S.'s in the second half of this year. That prospect has propelled the euro to shoot above the $117 level for the first time since September 2018. EU leaders have just agreed on a virus rescue package, and investors see little sign of Europe experiencing a resurgence on the scale that is currently sweeping the U.S. This is likely to keep the upside pressure on the euro in the coming months as the economic paths of the eurozone and the U.S. diverge. The deteriorating U.S. relations with China is adding to the uncertainty as it comes just ahead of the November presidential election. The heightened tensions have already hammered China's stock market, and although for now it's only making Wall Street mildly nervous, some traders aren't taking any chances and ratcheting up their holdings of gold. The precious metal has been on a relentless drive upwards over the past seven days, hitting an intraday record of just under $1,944 announce. Expectations that the Federal Reserve will pump more stimulus over the next few months have been weighing on Treasury yields lately, pulling the dollar down as well. The Fed begins its next scheduled meeting tomorrow and will conclude it on Wednesday. While it's not very likely that policymakers will announce any major changes to their numerous emergency programs, they might signal a scaling up of their bond purchases to prop up a slowing economic recovery. Equally important is whether U.S. lawmakers will be able to agree on a fresh round of fiscal stimulus before the existing support measures expire at the end of the month. This was today's Daily Market Comment at XM.com. Have a great week.